Hello guys, welcome to my channel Art Saga and to the new tutorial video how to place components. If you are new to this channel, please like and subscribe my channel and check my previous videos. So guys, let's start. furniture in this plan. Before we start, if you want to know how I made this plan, added walls, windows, doors and floors, you need to go and check my previous tutorials. The tutorial links are provided in the description. So let's start with placing a component. So now you can find component in architecture tab inside the build tool. So you will find your components. So before jumping into that, there are two types of components in Revit. One is component family which is a model family and one are system families. System families are those which we learned till now which are door, walls, ceiling and staircase. We will learn it in upcoming tutorials. Now we will go to what are component families. Component families are all the furniture, plumbing fixtures, mechanical fixtures etc. So let's try placing the components. So when you go on component, here is a drop down option. When you drop down, there are two options called place a component and model in place. So place a component, you can place furnitures, plumbing fixtures and everything which I listed first in this video and model in place which is elements which are project specific and this cannot be transferred from one project to another. A component can be transferred from one project to another because they are from outside Revit and model in place which we have to create inside Revit and it would be a project specific element. So we will learn today what is a place a component. So we will place comp components in our plan now. So now I want to place some components as soon as I clicked on the tab I can see some property section tab is activated and here are some default components. So when you click on component on your screen you will just find some components some less components which are listed here. So as I have imported or loaded the components I have a full list ready here now. So uh, when you open it you will just find trees, parking spaces and desk uh, components here. But I have uh, imported some other families so my components are ready here. So I will also let you know how I loaded these families into my project. So let's go with placing some sofas in this room. So this is our living room. I'll just rename it as living room. And yes, we are ready here. This is our living room. This is our bedroom. This is our bathroom and kitchen. So let's add some sofas in our living room. So how we can do that? We'll go to component, place a component. Now I have already loaded this family that's why I can see the families here. But if I want a different kind of sofa what I'll do after selecting on component I will go to a modify section tab and I will find load family tab here. So I'll click it and as we learned in our door and window tutorial that we can load any families which are from the Revit default material list. So here we, when we open, we have a Revit default folder here. So I have downloaded a US metric folder. So when you open it, you can see multiple fixtures or families here. So we want to place a sofa. You can find sofa into furniture. So I'll open furniture and I'll find seatings. So my seatings would have sofa. And I'll place this family M sofa. And you can see a preview here as well. After clicking it, I have to simply say open and the family is loaded into my project. I have to place it here. So I click it and play, place it here. Now, if I want to get out of the command, I need to press escape two times. But if I want to place the sofa un at another position, I will not get out of the command. I will uh, place it anywhere else. So I, I, when I hover my mouse, I can again place this sofa. 
but I want this at a vertical angle at a 90 degree at this position like this so I'll just press space bar and I'll press again until unless I get a correct angle and I got a correct angle and I'm placing my sofa here so my sofa is ready now I'll press escape two times and I'm out of the command now now we'll go to bedroom and here I will add a bed a table and a chair so again I'll go to place a component and I will drop down and I will scroll down to find some bed so if I don't find a bed here what I'll do I'll again go to load family I'll just go back and I will check for beds so as, as I see for beds I have five options these are Revit default materials you can also download families from various sites I will list down those sites in the description below so I will select this sofa and I will say open and I have a bed family here right now so I will place a queen bed I will place it here now if you don't like this bed and you want to change it you don't need to delete it and place an another bed again you just click it after clicking the property section tab will activate you just drop down and you can see another bed types here so I want to place M king standard a king size bed so I just replaced it I just need to align it and we are done here so in a in a tutorial video I also explained about the modify tools so the modify tools can be found here which is align copy move rotate and mirror so in case you find it difficult that how I am moving this the furniture or rotating the furniture you can go and check the modify tutorial modify tool tutorials so it would be easy for you to understand so now we will add a table so I'll go to component again place a component and place a table so I want this table and now I don't want it in this angle I want it on a vertical angle here on this wall on this wall so I'll just press space bar and my component is ready and it is aligned to the wall but now I don't know the drawers of this this component are on this side or this side so we will go and check 3d and when I go to 3d I will see my drawers are placed on the side of the wall I don't want that I will again click on the component press space bar and I will again press space bar the component is aligned but just using space bar it is rotated so this is the correct angle of a table I want now I want to add a chair I will go again to place a component I will search for chair and scroll down and scroll down I cannot find a chair here what I'll do I'll again go to load family I'll just move back and I'll go to seatings again and you can choose any chair you want from here so let's say I want to choose this chair executive chair for my table and I'll say ok and when I hover my mouse you will see the angle is not perfect so I cannot place the chair like this and the table here so I will just press space bar again and align my chair as per my table direction so I will keep my chair here on the center and escape two times to get out of the command and again I will go to 3D and check so in 3D this is perfect so for moving in 3D I am using a shift key and a scroll button and for zoom I am using scroll in and scroll out so I can see my chair is here my bed is correct and my sofa is also correct so I will again go back to my plinth level so similarly you can add multiple components here like this I will just again show you how to place components in the bathroom so we will place a bathtub a sink and a WC so I will go to components again place a component obviously those families are not loaded here before so I directly go and jump on to load family now where you will find the kitchen equipments so you need to go to, sorry where you will find the bathroom equipments so you need to go to plumbing in plumbing you will jump on to architecture you will go to fixtures 
now i want to place a water closet i will go into water closet and i will choose from these four and i'll say open and this was already loaded that's why the chair is selected which was the my previous command which i have selected so i'll just delete it and i'll go to my preloaded families so i have already loaded a wc i'll just find it and place it so yes my wc was already there i'll select this space bar space bar and i'll align to the wall again i'll search for place a component i want a sink now let's see if i have loaded it earlier yes i have loaded it earlier but you can go if it is not in your project you just go to load family go in plumbing and select architecture fixtures and go into the sink area so i'll show you you just go back and you will find sinks here and you will find bath tubs here you just have to open it so i'll place my sink now and i'll place it at this end near the door and i'll just place a bath tub now i'll go down i'll go down and i have a tub so the name is m tub 2d so when i was searching bath tub it would not appear so just scroll down and you can find it and i will space bar again and i'll just paste it if you want to move you can use arrow keys and the bathroom is ready so guys you can try and explore more components in your plan and try placing them if you want to move the component you can use modify tools or use space bar to rotate the furniture at one place stay tuned for more tutorials and please like and subscribe my channel thank you